Okay, let's examine the strengths and weaknesses of the two major Democratic candidates. We'll begin with Bernie Sanders. What do we know about Bernie Sanders? Well, he's an outsider. Who was the last outsider besides Obama, of course? Who was the last outsider? That was Jimmy Carter. And the establishment did not like Jimmy Carter. They favored Ted Kennedy, to my recollection, and it did not go well for Jimmy Carter's presidency, except possibly for the Camp David Accords, but domestically, it was quite a shambles. And he was too weak to handle the Congress and the other parts of the political establishment. The other thing about Bernie Sanders is that, like Jimmy Carter, he comes off as being quite a good person. I, I really do believe that about him. He's also authentic. I think he means what he says. And these things make for uh, a good human being but not necessarily a good president, unfortunately. That's just the way our world works now. And I think that because of this weakness, if you can call it in his character, that the Republicans will just trample all over him and just destroy his presidency. It, it, it won't be good especially when they have shown themselves to be so intransigent towards Obama. So, I'm sorry, Bernie Sanders, but you, for all your hopes and dreams, I don't think it would work out well. Now let's go to Hillary Clinton. Well, Hillary Clinton is an insider. She is very experienced. She knows what she's doing at many levels. She has a very strategic mindset, and she has uh, the character it takes to stand up to people, sometimes when it counts. But, like Obama, she is not interested in changing much. In, in fact, she endorses the lethargic results of the Obama presidency. She was part of the lethargic results. And in fact, she would... <coughs> go even farther in some ways towards making progress less likely, especially on foreign policy. Now, she might be tough on foreign policy, and she had uh, shown expansive uh, fortitude in addressing Libya and Syria, but like George W. Bush, she might get scared and start to walk away when the political reality at home sets in. That's not a good thing either. It's not good to be a half-hearted imperialist. It's not good for anybody. Either you're in it to win it, or you don't play the game at all. And 
one more thing. Republicans have hated her for a long time. There will be more polarization. Might be around the same levels as the Obama presidency at his beginning. It will still lead our country down more polarization. And we are going to find ourselves in a very, very, really dispiriting situation. So, I hope, I hate to be the Debbie Downer on this one, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Have a good night, everybody.